At the end of the day, boxing is all about inflicting pain on your opponent. In a sport where strength meets strategy, one name stands above the rest. Artur Beterbiev, the formidable force from Russia, has carved his path to greatness with sheer determination and explosive power. Opponents have crumbled under the intensity of Beterbiev's onslaught. With precision and timing, he has sent many fighters to the hospital, leaving a lasting impression on the sport. Will it be 14 for 14 as he comes out and this fight is over? Artur Beterbiev is without dispute the scariest fighter a man can face. This is Boxing Matrix. Enjoy this video. In the rugged landscapes of Dagestan, a boxing prodigy was born, Artur Beterbiev, whose name would soon reverberate through the halls of the boxing world, had a humble yet promising beginning. From a young age, he was exposed to the art of combat, with his surroundings permeated by a long-standing tradition of wrestling and martial arts. It was during these formative years that Beterbiev discovered his passion for the sweet science of boxing. Guided by a burning desire to challenge himself physically and mentally, he stepped into the gym for the first time, unaware that it would mark the beginning of a journey that would leave many hurt really badly. In 2013, Better BF made the leap to professional boxing, embarking on a new chapter in his career. The transition was seamless as he quickly dismantled opponents with a relentless ferocity that left spectators in awe. Better BF showed the world who he really was when he faced Tavoris Cloud. In his previous two fights, Cloud had lost by unanimous decision to Bernard Hopkins, who dethroned him as IBF title holder, and by knockout to champion Adana Stevenson in his last fight in September 2013. Though his fight with Better Biev would prove to be his worst beating, even if it was quick. For Cloud, you gotta give Trent the lateral movement. You gotta. You never get a rigid fighter here. You can punch Trent the lateral movement Trent from that right hand. Corner Cloud you know, with the goal. Yeah. He catches the left hand from Cloud there. Yeah. Right hand over the top there from the two the end. And just letting that left hand go and then a right as well. And he's got Cloud trapped here and Cloud is down onto a knee. As it turned out, the Russian only required the power and just over a round to obliterate his American opponent. Better be have floored Cloud three times in the first round and dropped him for good face first in the next for a second round stoppage at the 38 second mark. To go on his back, looking straight to the referee, making to the end of the first round into Boris Cloud for the nightmare experience he had here against Adonis Stevenson. He's continuing against Maturbiev and he's gone down at the end of the first round again. In the end, Cloud lay in a prone position and failed to beat the count of the referee after having absorbed a variety of blows, the last three being two successive left hooks and a finishing right cross. Absolutely jolting left hand from Maturbia, and you can see the head snap back, and he starts to unload again here, and surely Cloud cannot last too much longer. He's trapped in the corner, taking punches, he's trying to throw back, but to no avail, and he goes down again, this time flat on his stomach, and really, and Tavoris Cloud is down and out after all but It is said that those same punches might have caused some damage to Cloud's head, as his knockdown wasn't as common. Thankfully, after being rushed to the hospital and getting a CTE scan, he was able to walk away the same way he was before the fight. Though this fight ended in the second round, Better Biev is known for ending his opponent's careers in the very first round. One of the first early knockouts of his was against the veteran Isidro Renoni Prieto. Prieto was coming to the fight with an impressive record of 26 wins and 22 knockouts, was looking pretty confident to at least go the distance with Better Biev. Is Prieto going to be good enough to... Not too far away if he gets an impressive win tonight. Artur looked pretty sharp, and he even dropped Prieto really early on into the first round. It would take only a few seconds for him to deliver shots that would blast his opponent's head back, leaving him unable to stand on his own. The punch and the accuracy to finish it. He's got him going again. Bit man. 
<laughs> moving like a man who knows he has tremendous power and he can handle it, John. A minute to go. Bravely now. What a start from the top. As we said earlier, Better Biev is known for destroying his opponents in the very first round. However, there are some exceptions. In 2017, he fought Enrico Kohling for the IBF Light Heavyweight Championship in a fight that would prove to be worth it, only for the last minutes of it. Good, Brian. A few years for touch a guy and down another guy. He has surprising power, Teddy, in that it doesn't seem to be explosive. Economically brutal. No one's been past the eighth round. I thought that question was to me. They got off to a slow start, and it never picked up as they measured each other and showed respect. But Better Biev was the aggressor. He marched forward, landing stiff jabs to the head and belly as he pushed Coling into the ropes throughout the fight. And if he does more than that, what will you do, Mr. Coling? Chances is that perhaps Better Biev. Crazy going to the States. He's never been to the United States. He thinks there's someone in front of me. I'm going to go forward. I'm going to hit the. Better be Coling to keep moving, not stay against the rope. Coling continued to stay in survival mode, but Better BF continued to fire away with a potent jab and some body shots. Coling's offensive consisted of the occasional jab, many of which missed the target. He's going deep in fights. Too much to be taken out of counts in 24 fights. No, because he keeps his hands in his pockets. So I don't care if he had 25 now, because he doesn't move his hand. Better BF continued to go after Coling in the final round and finally broke through. He dropped him to a knee from an accumulation of punishment and then charged at him when the fight resumed. After the fight, Coling stated that Better Biev is a relentless monster that nobody wants to fight, and he was damn right about it. But there came a time for a cocky fighter to test the waters with Better Biev, and it didn't end very well for him. Colum Johnson, the British light heavyweight, took on the center of the ring quickly, who then gained Better Biev's attention with an overhand right that ultimately failed him. Leone, with a right hand blocked by Johnson. Now Smith. Johnson has him in the corner, he's back down immediately. Now to the body. Better. They start, but if he does, that too much. Better be up, puts out there. Well, it's, it, I it works. It's hard, and now they start to trade. Better be up immediately. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he drops him. The referee has said no. Johnson produced a stunning response in the second as he floored Better BF with a looping left hand of his own although he was unable to find another telling blow before the end of the round. Wide hook after it. He's got a wide repertoire in his right hand. Drop Johnson with right there. Oh, that was a, a, a right hand that hurt Johnson just now. Johnson is right in front of him. Better be able to get a little distance. Lands another right hand and then over the top. Johnson. In the fourth round, the Russian just kept on pounding the challenger, eventually dropping him with a big right hand that sent shockwaves through the legs of Johnson, who crumpled to the canvas, and he was unable to beat the count. The shoulders moving as they trade close He was talking that up in the right. pre-fight. Sharp jabs and a right hand followed by Bessel. Oh, Johnson goes down with a right hand. That was just a grazing right hand. Three. Johnson Four. melts in front of him. Ah. Johnson is protesting, but he barely beat that count and Better Biev. The knockout streak continued. Artur Better Biev, who was boxing's only world champion with a 100% KO ratio, knocked out the hard hitting Radovoye Hot Rod Kalajic in the fifth round in front of 10,000 fans. 
The first started off as usual, with both men just studying each other's habits, trying to find openings to implement their game plan later on. He needed to angle out. Kalai just looks right now. I've never seen better BFs move around. Now he's coming forward. He's doing a little nice short crisp. He's going to sit in front, he's going to catch, and he's going to try to shoot. Had his own. I mean, these big shots is because he's leading. With him just to that belt line moments ago, now the dance on the outside. There's an awkwardness. As the rounds continued, Better Biev only got better. When it came down to raw power, he showed why he is the best and knocked down Hot Rod in the third. To throw it because he's been hit with some left hooks from the hip with right hands like that. But he won't have to take a chance. You got to keep this bull above him. I'm talking about the light. Right on the inside, and it was a right hand that landed for Rod, and then Better Biev seen from Kalijic. He's sitting there trading with Better Biev. He don't need to be doing that. Team Kalijic, so he's going back to the low-hanging fruit, which is stand there and fight. That's not... Back and forth they go. Short right hand from the champ, and Kalijic is hurt. Yeah. Paid the price. That's a technical yeah. knockdown. The rope. Clearly stunned by the knockout that had followed, Kalijic didn't seem to perform on the level that he was. And let us tell you that this is not the best thing to do when you have a fighter of better BF's caliber opposite you. It's a dangerous affair. You gotta be careful. And you can still hurt from that bruising. Look at this. That is better bruising. BF wants to be at right now. So if you're a hot rod, there is the right hand. That was better Jumping right hand. Overhand right from better BF. Will it be 14 for 14 as he comes out and this fight is over. Better BF retains his title. One of the best performances of Better Biev that left his opponent really broken was, of course, the Joe Smith Jr. one. Smith, who went into the ring with a 28-3 record, was stopped for only the second time in his career as his defense proved inadequate to repel Better Biev's power. Right in front of Better Biev, which is fine to a point, but he cannot go to sleep being in front of a man that, can, that possesses the power. Smith tried to come around that wide guard, he does so again. And Joe Smith has never been down. And there's a right hand from Better BF. Right hand from Better BF gets around the guard. It's a heavy, heavy shot. It's a well-placed, accurate right hand. That a barrage of heavy right hands found their mark in the opening round, with one sending Smith onto one knee just before the bell. Coming forward behind the jab here, closing seconds. Oh, off balance and scores the knockdown. Does Better BF. Smith sprang back up after taking a similar shot early in the second but he was then sent sprawling into the ropes by a left soon afterwards. Get this on the inside here in round two. Big exchange on the... Oh! He gets him again! After it's 17, so destructive, so heavy-handed. Uppercut tries to sneak in. There's a hook. There's an uppercut. Better be it's on the attack. Joe Smith is crumbling again. Left and right uppercuts followed in the wake of the third knockdown, and when Smith was wobbled again by another right that landed on the back of his head, the referee stepped in with 41 seconds remaining in the round, and Joe Smith Jr. was no more. Uppercut, big uppercut, he is stumbling, and this is over. Archer better be Last but not least, we have the fight that really solidified Better BF's position as the top dog in the light heavyweight division. The fight that happened in January of 2023 against Anthony Yardy. Better BF backed up Yardy in his characteristic marauding manner to start the fight, but the Londoner quickly showed off his speed and mobility. Yardy demonstrated his bravery by slipping in deft counter punches and a jarring left hook. He shouldn't be doing that. Just leaning with that on that right BF. A cut had opened up beneath Yardy's right eye, and he was soon under the blurring kosh as Better Biev set about building an even more percussive momentum at the start of round six. 
so yes, he's gone off at a blistering pace as better be yet, but he's been Anthony Yard with his mouth open, they're both feeling the pace up. He's caught him with a couple of cracking shots again, the left eye, I think there may be a nick there, Fletch. This is the contest. A tumultuous fight, full of so many twists and turns, would soon reach its culmination midway through the eighth round. A savage short right from Better BF stopped Yardy in his day's tracks before an overhand right crashed home. And that concludes the best performances of Artur Better BF. Having a 100% knockout ratio in the light heavyweight division is no joke. If Better BF ever faces Dmitry Bivol for undisputed and actually beats the technical Russian born, he will be one of the top dogs in the pound for pound division. Remember, Artur Better BF really sent a lot of his opponents to the hospital, so it is hard for him to find an opponent to fight. This is Boxing Matrix. Thank you for watching.